Hey guys, it's Amanda Galindo, Progressive Builders here. I'm going to give you a quick tour of Hunter's Crossing in Monticello. Um, I'll give you a tour of the development, tell you a little bit about some models that we have going up, and then drive you past kind of um, the route onto, um, onto your way to Hunter's Crossing. So, hope you like it. Alright guys, so I am heading west on School Boulevard. Um, we have Eastview Elementary on the right hand side. That school is used for, um, there's a preschool, they have a lot of ECFE things that go on there, gymnastics, they have um, a Head Start for Spanish, um, Hispanic children over there, the Migrant Head Start. On the right hand side kind of uh, just up the road is the high school so that's 9th through 12th grade also at Eastview they have that's where they they have rec soccer practice so those are kids in uh, kindergarten through fifth grade they'll have games on Saturdays um, in the spring and the fall uh, 9 9 o'clock 10 30 a.m. so um, really close to the schools and, their, and soccer and everything. Um, this is a little mountain elementary. The kids are just walking. So the kids that live on the neighborhood to the left and then a um, couple neighborhoods up ahead, they will actually walk and they have crossing guards. Um, so you can see the kids walking here. It's about 8.48 in the morning. So school starts at 9 o'clock. I'm going to take a left onto Fallon Avenue. And up here on the right hand side is Pioneer Park. Um, really pretty. The maple trees are pretty much all colored. They have a pavilion area with grills, picnic tables. A um, couple different play areas for the kids to play at. There's a walking path on the right hand side here um, that actually goes all the way up to the schools and then you can walk around um, on School Boulevard uh, all the way around to Chelsea Boulevard which is kind of a big block. It's about three miles. So this is Fallon that we're on and Hunter's Crossing is going to be up here <clears throat> on the right hand side. It's a newer development. Um, we've built uh, probably 10 houses in the last year and a half, two years. We have two lots left um, as of right now, which is October 7th, 2014. Um, I will take a left on 87th Street. And this is the one of the entryways to get into Hunter's Crossing. As you can see, it's a newer development. Um, a lot of the houses have uh, some newer uh, type designs, color trends on the outside. They have the shakes and the trim, the board and batten. These are two on the right hand side. These are the two lots that we have available. They're lot six and seven. They're graded for a full basement walkout. It's kind of some wetland area. It's a really nice, big, pretty lot. So this is still 87th. We'll take a left on Fairhill Lane. We have a model up here. That's our Maple Ridge. That's um, four level split. So when you walk in, the kitchen is on the main level. It's got a really big kitchen dining area with a big island. Um, the bay window on the outside of the kitchen, that's where the sink is, kind of looks out, which is nice. Then you um, walk upstairs. There's a bedroom, two bedrooms, one bath. The third level and the fourth level are unfinished. That's priced at one seventy nine nine. Street, Isley Avenue actually, sorry, um, 
on the if you take a right that will just take you back to 87th the street that we came back on and then I'll, if I take a left here that is going to take me um, Street Northeast actually fail in the road that we came in on will turn into 85th Street and then if I take a right here this is gonna take me to sure to check us out on Facebook.